Did I do the math right? 1969. They're old, like me. Pressure, 12. Bottles all the way in. Light off by two, five. Boys and turn. Three, two, one. With that 50 plus year history, is almost in every movie you see. The fact that we are flying aircraft as old as they are, with the mission capable rates that we have today, if you go anywhere else and look at that, you're probably not going to find the ability to do that. Uh, the fact that we can do it everywhere around the world, delivering supplies and delivering equipment, the fact that we can keep our air crews as ready as they are, amazing work by a lot of different people. But we got to continue to try to up that game. You have to make sure that we are as good as we possibly can with what we have until the day that the new stuff shows up. And that you understand that, that really uh, keeping the old stuff as viable as you can is really a, a big lift, but uh, we're equal to the task. We have a legacy platform, a legacy aircraft that's been in service uh, doing excellent for 45 to 50 years. And that presented a huge need. There's just certain things that you can't do to an aircraft to make it go faster, and that's the Huey behind me. It's, there's nothing else you can do to it. There are a few things, but not to meet the operational capability needs. And so with congressional support, the team's top priority then became to field a fully mission-capable aircraft, uh, helicopters to replace the aging UH-1Ns. Ladies and gentlemen, this is about competition, and competition reveals the best. The main advantage of the MH-139 will be its speed and lift capability. To execute the ICBM security and support the national nuclear deterrence operations, as well as provide continuity of operations and transport within the national capital region. And I think it's going to go faster than feeling a brand new system. So we're modifying something that has the capacity to be modified. But it was also to encapsulate and learn the lessons that we had in sustaining the UH-1. We knew we had to do things differently. We had to own the technical baseline where feasible. We had to pursue modular open systems architectures. We had to architect for sustainability and adaptability. And it's all about speed. <laughs>